Assalamu alaikum guys, this is me Nasmus here and welcome to another Windows 98 video. And uh, this is a video quick response to um, some of the two comments I got, two interesting comments I got in my first video on Windows 98, not my first video but one of my earlier videos on Windows 98 um, that talked about running Windows 98 in 2013 with web and apps. And uh, in, the, in this video two people had some interesting comments. The first one is about an Easter egg. We'll be trying that out. Is here. He says his name is Samir uh, Samir uh, Samir J uh, Jubet Samir Jubet. I'm um, sorry if I uh, um, I mispronounce your name, sir. I'll, if, let me know if, it, if if you have a correct pronunciation. Uh, so it says, if you still have VMware device uh, v that VMware device, log into it and go to the screensavers. Choose 3D text and write volcano as as a text for it. It's an Easter egg of some sort. I'll let you discover. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for letting me know about this and we're going to do it live and see what happens. Um, so, uh, try that. Mr. Samir. Uh, we're going to go to screensavers. Oh, it's already a three text. It's the first option, actually. No, it's not. Uh, okay. So, um, it, by default it says OpenGL. I'm glad um, it's. Uh, I thought Microsoft was a proponent of, proponent of DirectX. Apparently, they had a heart for OpenGL back then. Maybe it ran on OpenGL. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna switch the name to Volcano. I want to choose uh, none because I know it's easier to read. And if there's some special text that comes up, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that it's we can all read what it says. So I'll type Volcano. This is exciting. Unless, of course, a volcano starts erupting in the screensaver. Who knows? Let's see. Volcano. Bachelor. Interesting. Make Oh, these are credits. I think these are people who helped uh, build Windows 98. That's awesome. That's a pretty neat way to thank the engineers who made this. But Bachelor. Does it, is this implying that most people are lonely, who have no wives, and are bachelors and not married because they're too busy b making a win Windows operating system? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, uh, if anyone knows why it says bachelor, let me know. Hood, broken. Wait a minute. These don't look like uh, names of people. Maybe it's description of them. Broken top, baker. Maybe one of them's a baker. That's maybe it's the last name. Three sisters. Hmm. Gar. So it may may or may not maybe code names for these people who made Windows ninety eight. So if we have a glacier, uh, if you have any uh, idea of what this is, let me know. Is this credits? Is there something more? Uh, again, bachelor. I think it started looping now. So this is pretty cool. Um, uh, thank you, Mr. Samira, for letting, letting us know of this cool tip. Let's see, the next one is actually an, one I didn't realize. I think it's, uh, there you go, um, this one, by Bliss, Bliss, Bliza the Hedgehog, P. Classic. Okay, um, if you run Windows Media Player in Windows XP mode, we think Chrome EX, you can change the colors of your main player. Ah, this is a very thoughtful thing uh, you did. Uh, we know that um, by default when the latest version of Windows Media Player you could upgrade to in Windows 98 is Windows Media Player 9 and it's a version that uh, was originally released for Windows XP Service Pack 2 and in the Windows XP version there's the media radio uh, MSN Windows XP version there's a extra button here that has a paintbrush that lets you change the color of Media Player all this time, since 2004, I, I, I knew that Windows 98 didn't have the button. I thought it's for a technical reason, and that uh, because or because Microsoft wants to make it gray because Windows 98 is gray and not blue and colorful like XP was. So, but apparently, the Hedgehog, Mr. Hedgehog or Miss Hedgehog, whoever, maybe a woman, um, or men. Uh, sorry if I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, s suggested that if we. Uh, uh, set this uh, to Windows XP mode. Um, we will trick the media player thinking that uh, service back to thinking that um, we're running, uh, you know, 
um, Windows XP and the paintbrush should work. So let's see. Oh yes. Oh yes, it's blue this time. Did you just see that? It is blue and there's a paintbrush. And you could change colors. This is so sweet. Thank you so much for this suggestion. This is so nice. Look at this. Pink, purple. Wow. This is awesome. These oh, these are these awesome skins for Windows Media Player right there. Toothy. Very playful. I miss these days. Windows 95. 9 series default. Anyway, so let's see what happens if I switch back. Let's see, um, let's switch back to Windows 98. But I like the colors. Yeah, it goes back to Windows 98. This is pretty sweet. I didn't know that. That is awesome. Huh. Thanks a lot. Very nice. Now, what happens if I switch to a version that this media player doesn't support? Like, so will it, will it, like, I know this media player doesn't work when it was 95. So what happens if I use when it's 95? That still opens. Okay. It didn't attempt to block it. Maybe NT4? I'll try NT4. I doubt, I don't think this, I think NT4 only ran on Windows Media Player 7, but yeah, Windows Media Player 9 works. So this is interesting. Windows uh, 98 had originally came, Windows Media, Windows, originally came with Windows Media Player 6, and it was upgraded to 7, but Windows Media Player 8 was exclusive and only exclusive to Windows XP and has never been released for anything else. But when Microsoft got lighthearted and, you know, decided to give everyone Windows Windows ME and 2098 users Windows Media Player 9 but uh, so I, yeah so that's there you go colorful media player very awesome oh it remembered it's awesome thank you guys I mean thank you for your comments and yes uh, I, I agree my mic I had a problem with my mic um, you guys deserve I deserve to get you know, you know, beaten beaten up for that. It, comment wise, sorry about that. I'll try not to do that again. See, so hopefully this one's better. Anyway, thank you for watching, and you have a great day.